So this tutorial is going to show you a few uh, line commands or curve commands uh, that will be really useful when drafting on something like a C plane, maybe a 2D plan, or an elevation if you want to draw it directly on an object. Uh, the first command is line. It's the simplest form of uh, a curve with two points and uh, a length that attaches both those curves. You can see it's an open curve here. You can run that command again. I can also draw what's called a polyline, which is a, a collection of line segments um, that sort of angle at the, the vertices. So I'm drawing all of the, uh, the vertices for the, the polyline here. Uh, if you select the object, I closed it, and so it's going to tell me it's a closed curve, and you can see that all of them are selected. I can use a command called explode, and what that will do is it will take all of these line segments and make them individual um, elements. I can also draw what's called a, a curve. And a curve has uh, a couple things, but mainly it's the, the degree is influencing it. So if I change this to a low degree, like two, it's gonna stay fairly rigid, but it's still gonna be um, uh, pretty organic. You can see that all of these points are um, uh, created, but they're not creating the vertices for the line. They're actually creating what are called control points, and if you select each of these, um, you can modify them by moving them with, say, the gumball. Um, now, if I draw the same curve, but if I change its degree to 6, let's start to choose some points here. You can see that this is a much higher degree but it's going to be actually more amorphous. It's going to be less rigid to these points. And let's close that. And you can take these again and morph them. There's a few modifying commands that are uh, going to be really important early on. Uh, one of them is trim. I use this very often. So if I run the trim command, it's asking me for the select cutting objects, or asking me to select the cutting objects. So let's choose this one. Uh, let's right click or hit enter um, to go to the next uh, subcommand. It's going to ask me what do I want to trim. Uh, well, trimming, whatever I click in Rhino, um, is going to take out any part that uh, basically is on, on, this, on the side that you click. Right? So uh, I'm on this side of the curve. If I click that, that other curve that intersected it, it's going to cut that out. If I go here, it's going to cut that out. Here you can see that there's a little bit left over. So you can imagine drawing lines and you know, selecting multiple items to trim as well. And there you can just sort of um, you know, figure out which ones you need and which ones you don't. Another nice command is uh, fill it. So if I fill it, uh, what it's going to do is it's going to draw, uh, it's going to extend the, um, the curves together um, with a radius. And you can turn that radius to zero. So if I choose this and this, it's going to uh, basically turn this into a curve, and there's no radius at this corner. It's at an angle. Now, if I run that command again, let's run fill it. Let's change it to two feet as my radius, and I select the same object. So you can see that it fillets and creates a nice curve. I can also use um, extend if I don't want to, you know, cut the object uh, or join them. Um, it's asking me to select the boundary object, so let's select that curve and right click, and then I want to extend this curve to that boundary. Now it's still uh, two different objects because I used this, this was one curve, but I trimmed it and then I extended it back. Um, but you can use a command uh, like join to uh, make them into a single curve again, or you can explode and you get two curves 